الرحمن الرحیم وسیع مکرم صاحب ڈاکٹر پلیتھا ڈاکٹر مس آئلا ارشد چاندی صاحب ڈگنیٹریز لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمن السلام علیکم آفٹر دس وٹ وسیع مکرم صاحب ہیز سیڈ دیر از ہارڈلی اینی تھنگ ٹو سے but uh, i just want to welcome this new development on the polio scene in pakistan whereby a role model a national hero uh, is stepping up and joining hands in our endeavor national endeavor to eradicate polio from pakistan aur jaisa ki unhone kaha ke humne milke پاکستان سے پولیو ختم کرنا ہے اینڈ آئی تھنک اٹس دس از اٹ سیز اٹ آل پاکستان اس وقت ہم جس لیڈرشپ کے فقدان کو دا لیک آف لیڈرشپ دیٹ وی وی ہیو بن موننگ ان دس کنٹری دا نیشنل لیڈرشپ از ناؤ ان دا ہینڈس of the greatest role model in Pakistan, that is the Prime Minister Imran Khan. And now we are also giving the national important causes in the hands of other national heroes. And the other, one of the other national heroes is Vaseem Akram. And Vaseem Akram, inshallah, is going to be the face of the campaign to eradicate Pakistan uh, from polio. There are there are many uh, events to come as we enter in the low season as we call it uh, campaigning against polio uh, Vaseem Akram Saab who has also emerged not just as, as a, as a uh, character as we know him but also uh, a great motivator a great champion of different social causes. Uh, we will be working together, arm in arm, hand in hand, in different parts of Pakistan, especially where polio is emerging from and the concentrated reservoirs uh, in, in KP, in Karachi, in uh, Balochistan. We will be traveling a lot together, we will be working to, a lot together, and we will be working very hard, inshallah, to make Pakistan polio free during this term of the Prime Minister Imran Khan. Today is uh, World Polio Day, and it does make us reflect, but also it make us resolve. <laughs> reflect that what went wrong whereby we were so steadily moving towards eradicating polio from Pakistan, and we actually have come a long way. Let's not forget that just 20 years ago, more than 30,000 children were crippling with polio every year. Just 20 years ago, we were all alive, we were sitting here. We have come a long way. Glass is half full and half empty. In this case, glass is 99% full. You just need last drop of what you call a tipping point. We have come to a tipping point in eradicating polio from Pakistan. It just needs last thrust. And the last mile is always hard also. And this requires a unified national effort. Let me also announce today that this government would not let, from today onwards, polio to become politicized campaign. It polio will be depoliticized countrywide, nationwide, and government-wide effort where everybody will be working together across all shades of political parties whether it is Pakistan Army, whether it is civil, whether it is uh, private sector, non-governmental sector, development partners, everybody. It must be a unified national campaign which will be led by, supported by government, 
and its development partners and champions like Wasim Akram. We also have to reflect that the factors which we have come across in the last two years or so, how we can analyze them better, how we can understand them better, as Wasim Akram Saab was saying. In terms of what went wrong, why refusals, why on the earth a parent would refuse his or her child to be protected from a crippling disease. This needs to be understood. And all those factors needs to be understood. Because unless we understand a problem, we cannot resolve it. And I think that we have deepened already our understanding. We have done number of assessments, number of reviews, number of studies that what is at work, which is holding us back. And I think that as we move now in this uh, campaign, campaigning against uh, polio through different national uh, uh, immunization campaigns across the country, we will, be in, we will be informed by what we have understood about these problems. And we will hit, hit it very hard. And we will, inshallah, in next two, three years, make Pakistan polio free. Uh, as far as the government is concerned, let me tell you that there was also this understanding that because of the change of the government, the administrative control got loose, uh, people changed. In the last couple of months, let me also tell you that we have very intensely worked to find out the best possible people to lead our national emergency operation centers and our provincial emergency operation centers. We have the best leadership available at the moment. I'm in personally in touch with all of them. And we are also plugging in all the gaps that we found uh, at provincial level at divisional district and union council level. And we are trying to figure out that where were the problems and we are figuring them out and also resolving them. So World Polio Day today, on the one hand, make us reflect, and we have reflected a lot in the last couple of months, but it also make us make a new resolution. And our resolution today is that we are now entering into the last phase of, of eradicating polio from Pakistan in a very big way, in a very informed way, in a very enthusiastic way by involving everybody across the country. And inshallah, we will succeed. Thank you very much.